Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to use touch, how to create a, a touch GFX project and how to upload it to your STM uh, discovery board. So first of all, we will have to open touch GFX designer. You can download it, it by uh, going into my description and downloading it uh, by the STM uh, website. And after downloading it, you will have uh, the application where you can create uh, a project selecting your discovery board or your supported board for TouchGFX or create a project without a supported board. In our case, we will use this board that is the STM42F4-9i that is the latest revision, the E01. And uh, for this board, there are no examples available, but if you had another discovery board by going to examples, select board setup and you selected, for example, the, the discovery board, uh, this one, this one, for example, you would have all these examples that you could try directly in your board. And uh, of course, you can use them for seeing how they were implemented in this board and then use the, the examples for your board. So we want to create a, a project with, for this board, so we select this. We can choose our application name. We will say uh, first touch fx project is name. and here it's the folder where it will be saved remember the folder the directory because it will be important afterwards we can choose the version we want the latest version and uh, it should be up to go so we click in create okay as you can see we created uh, a touchfx uh, environment so in this environment what can we do we can, uh, for example, add, uh, this is the screen, and on the screen we can add, um, for example, a button. So we select in uh, here, button. And then we can move the button in the screen. For example, we can put it here, bottom. And uh, we can choose, for example, his, its size and uh, its properties. So we will choose a small button, like uh, not this one, this one, but it's, it's nice and we'll put it in the center. And uh, yeah, afterwards we can, for example, add an image. For, for example, we could go images, image. But in our case, we will use a simple box that we'll use to make a colored background so like this and then we can choose its color so we may choose blue for example like this one dark blue and yeah then we can put it in the bottom of the button so the button is on top of this screen so we can add for example text we can go here text area we can add also a text area that we will call start screen. Start screen. Where we can choose color, so yeah, white. Seems okay. And we can put it here. And yeah, okay. Now we, for example, we want to go to another screen by clicking in this button. So how do we do it? We create another screen by going here and add screen so we just created another screen where we can uh, add what we want so for example we can add another box or a shape let's add a shape and uh, we can uh, add this shape yeah and then we can add another box, so it's nicer. So we put it in the bottom and we change the color of the box like this. 
and then we can call again the text area text area where we will write uh, second screen second screen okay and here we can add another button so we can go here button button and uh, this time we can leave it like this and uh, yeah okay we can also change the name of the button so here so we can change it to a better name so in our case we want to go from screen one to screen two by pressing the button and from screen two to screen one by pressing the button okay so we will call this button button um, move screen button one move to move to screen two okay move to screen one button this label for this button and this button will have move to screen two button okay so now how do we make this battle button interactive so we go to interactions add an interaction select trigger in our case is button is clicked so if the button move to screen to button is clicked then the action will be to change the screen and the screen where we want to go it's screen two okay and this interaction we can call it uh, uh, move to screen to interaction this is useful if you create a lot of interactions then then here we will have a lot a lot of interaction and it will be difficult to follow them we can also add a transition so for example we can use uh, the slide transition from soft to dark and yeah here we can do the same thing with this button so interactions plus trigger button is clicked move to screen bu one button um, change screen choose screen screen one and here we can uh, use for example y no not y but uh, let's see block and here this interaction will be move to screen one interaction okay okay so by doing this we will go from screen one to screen two and from screen two to screen one so we can for example run simulation in the touch the fix designers to see what, how it will behave when we will program the, the board so i clicked here in run simulator oh, okay as you can see uh, this is the simulation it started and uh, as you expected we should be in screen one with start screen uh, text area and if we click in the button we should go to screen two so i'll click and as you can see we went to the second screen and if we click again in the in the button we'll go to screen one so yeah this works and if we click in other places nothing should happen okay this works so how we program the, how we'll program the board so first of all we'll have to generate code so go here generate code so how we'll do so we generate code and after generating the code we'll see where it will be where it was saved that it was the folder that we decided previously but you can check it also here in the this um, prompt window so we can close this and um, open our no we can go to the where where it was saved so in our case it was in the, the c this can be in touch gfx projects and as we can see our project was called first touch gfx project that is here and here it saw the code that was generated including the ioc files and the stm first 2 qbd 
uh, files. So we can open stm 42 kubid We can create our workspace. In our case, we already created the workspace in the same place where uh, the TouchGFX project uh, was created. So we will launch workspace and then we will wait a moment. So how to import our file? We'll go to open project from file system and then we will select our project by going to directory and then select our project like uh, this and then we will create in select folder and as you we can see we have both eclipse projects and so we will convert uh, project. okay and now we will click in finish so after importing you can see our folder so we can go here here and uh, find our main file so user main.c and here we have our main file and in uh, touch jfx guy i mean you can find the um, screens where we will have to modify all the parameters of touch jfx of the graphics if we want but for now we already have our uh, project made by TouchFX is if we want to for example add hardware to our project but for this video I will not show how and yeah so we went to the main we clicked here and so we can see that we can build project so we'll build project we'll wait for the project to be built Now that project was built, we can uh, go to Build Analyzer and uh, check for our memory use. So we see in the Build Analyzer, we can go to Memory Regions and see our memory use. So we can see how our program is built and where the different uh, uh, parts of our code were saved. Okay, so we can um, now program our board by going to the back configuration going here this called the bug okay so now we will build configuration we better choose the bug since uh, if we want to stop in some places the bug uh, uh, the build configuration the bug allows it was to analyze better or good and then we go to the bugger we select exactly as i'll show you here so you leave everything and it is now and we click apply and um, yeah as you can see the external loader it's already defined so we already use the NAND uh, memory and uh, yeah now we can click in the bug and code will be loaded to our board okay the code was loaded to our board we um no not already but it will be loaded in a little bit okay the code was loaded to our board and we are in the back configuration so we have to click in resume so resume now the board starts working as you can see uh, we can see the screen as expected and if i click in the button we go to the second screen if i click again in the button we go in the other screen and yeah and so on so now that we see that it works and we don't need to debug we can terminate the program and the board will keep keep the program inside of it and uh, yeah we programmed our board using touchfx designer and uh, we now can know how to use the touch ethics designer to um, make an interactive screen. Thank you for watching. Another thing, if we want to modify something in uh, touch ethics, we can. 
no problem. So for example, I can move this down and move the button up, no problem. Then we generate code, okay? After generating the code, we need to remember to uh, refresh the code in uh, our stm 42 QVD environment, so refresh. Now that we refreshed, the, the, the code now has the modifications that we made in TouchGFX Designer. Other than that, another interesting thing is that you can open the TouchGFX project by going directly to TouchGFX here and then double click in uh, here. By double clicking here, it will open automatically TouchGFX Designer and you will be able to do the modifications to your current project. Okay, so it's car changes and uh, yeah. Diesel. I hope you liked the video and uh, see you all in the next time that I will try to show you how to use TouchGFX and hardware implementation in your STM42 QBD project. So we will turn on some LEDs and uh, some LEDs if we press some buttons in the screen. So stay tuned. Bye.